If you are thinking of buying a budget range device, then this video is made only for you because today I'll be talking about a budget range device and it is Sony Xperia L4, a device that has been launched 28 April of this year 2020. Entire video I'll be sharing its pros and cons, major specification and feature and as well as at the end of the video will be my recommendation. So this is Rokibul Hassan and you are watching Gadget Insider. If you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe because subscription costs nothing. Now without wasting time, let's get started. So let's talk about the display and build quality. This one is made out of plastic. Backside and frame both plastic. Display is made of unspecified version of Corning Gorilla Glass. A 6.2 inch huge IPS LCD HD display is coming up with it which is 79.5% skin to body ratio. This phone is having hybrid dual SIM option. Through that you can share one SIM slot for the external memory card to extend the storage option if you feel the internal storage is not sufficient for you. Although it is having 64 GB internal storage with 3 GB RAM option. The most important thing that I like most in this device is Wi-Fi dual band option. I know most of the people don't know with the term Wi-Fi dual band. Don't worry, I will explain it to you. Mostly in developing and developed countries, the Wi-Fi connection providers company always provide dual line. One is 2.4 GHz and another is 5 GHz. Means one is lower speed, another is high speed. If in your phone having Wi-Fi dual band option, it will support both high speed and low speed internet. But if it doesn't have, then it will support only 2.4 GHz means lower speed internet. And as you all know how necessary the high speed internet is, because if you play games, if you're browsing or downloading something from any website, site or torrent you need a high speed internet to make it faster and for the gamers it is crucial let's talk about the performance this phone is having mediatek helio p22 chipset which is 12 nanometer process it is an octa core processor including clock speed 2 gigahertz compared to other mid-range and budget range device this helio p22 chipset is quite better and it does support ai technology having ai technology in the smartphone nowadays is very crucial for the users this processor does support lpddr3 or lpddr4 4gb or 5gb ram option but here Sony just used only 3GB RAM to keep the price lower. And obviously you are spending low, you must need to create a compromising mentality if you face any lagging while operating. Although you can play high graphics game through it, but if you play longer, you will gonna face overheating problems because it doesn't have liquid cooling technology. In the camera, it is having triple lens setup at the rear side, 13 megapixel wide angle lens, 5 megapixel ultra wide lens and 2 megapixel depth sensor. At the front side, it is having 8 megapixel single sensor selfie camera. Both side can record up to 1080 or 30fps. A powerful 3580 mAh battery has been given over here which will easily support you more than one day and for the heavy users one day probably. Although the other budget range devices such as Oppo A9 2020, Motorola Moto G Power Lite, Redmi Note 9 Pro, these are the phones are having 5000 mAh battery which are beast. But special thanks to MediaTek Helio P22 chipset and 720 pixel HD display resolution from which you can expect a very good return. So at the last I just want to say this phone itself a very good package in this price range you will definitely get a very good return from it if this video was helpful for you let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video till then stay home stay safe bye bye